first up, what's the difference between empirical and molecular formulas? An empirical formula shows the simplest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Example, CH2O for glucose. A molecular formula shows the actual number of each type of atom in a molecule. Example, C6H12O6 for glucose. You can think of the empirical formula as the simplest version of a molecular formula, which in turn is the actual formula of a compound. Now, before we start solving problems, here are three things you must know. Firstly, percentage composition gives you the mass of each element per 100 gram of substance. So, for example, if a compound would be made up of 50% oxygen and 50% carbon, you would simply assume 50 gram of oxygen and 50 gram of carbon. Secondly, to find moles, you use the following formula. Moles equals to mass divided by relative atomic mass. And lastly, divide each mole value by the smallest number of moles to find the simplest whole number ratio. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, let's look at an example. Determine the empirical and molecular formula for a compound with the following mass ratios. 40% carbon, 6.7% hydrogen and 53.3% oxygen. As a first step, we simply rewrite each percentage as a mass in grams. So we are assuming 40 grams of carbon, 6.7 grams of hydrogen and 53.3 grams of oxygen. The second step is to convert each mass into moles. We are using the formula mole equals mass divided by atomic mass. The atomic masses can be obtained from the periodic table. This gives us 3.33 mole for carbon, 6.7 mole for hydrogen and 3.33 mole for oxygen. Now we simply divide each mole value by the smallest mole value which is 3.33. This gives us the following ratio. 1 carbon, 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. So therefore our empirical formula is CH2O. Now to determine the molecular formula, you're given the molar mass of the compound. The molar mass is 180 grams per mole. Now we first check the mass of our empirical formula. We have 1 carbon, 12, plus 2 hydrogen, 2, plus 1 oxygen, 16, equals 30 gram per mole. Now we simply divide the molar mass by the empirical formula mass. 180 divided by 30 equals 6. This tells us that if we multiply our empirical formula by 6, we get the molar mass of 180. So therefore, our molecular formula is C6H12O6, that's glucose. Now let's do two IGCSE style example questions. Question 1. Determine the empirical and molecular formula for chrysotyl asbestos with the percentage composition of magnesium 28.03%, silicon 21.6%, hydrogen 1.16%, oxygen 49.21%. The molar mass is 520.8 gram per mole. Pause the video and give it a try. Step 1. We assume 100 gram and convert to moles. Step 2. We divide all moles by the smallest. In order to get whole numbers, we multiply by 2 and round. This gives us the following ratio. Mg3, Si2, H3 and O8, which is our empirical formula. Next, we calculate the mass of our empirical formula, 260.4 gram per mole. Now we divide the molar mass by the empirical mass. As the ratio is A2, we simply multiply our empirical formula by 2 to obtain Mg6 Si4 H6 O16. Question 2. A yellow dye has a composition of 
carbon 75.95%, nitrogen 17.72%, hydrogen 6.33%, the molar mass is 240 gram per mole. Calculate the empirical and molecular formula. Pause the video and give it a try. As before, we assume 100 gram and convert to moles. Then we divide by the smallest value. This gives us the empirical formula of C5NH5. Next we calculate the empirical mass and divide. As we get a 3.2, we round it to the next whole number, which is 3. Finally, we multiply by 3 to get C15N3H15. And that's it! Now you've learned how to tackle both empirical and molecular formulas, even with tricky decimals. For more IGCSE chemistry tips and practice, check out our channel and visit learningcurve.podia.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an exam tip from the learning curve. See you in the next video.